Hey guys, Quasar here, and welcome back to another video. Now, um, I just want to apologize. I was gone for so long. I was actually in Texas over the Christmas holidays, and uh, I did not bring a computer with me that was capable of recording gameplay or anything. I tried making a couple vlogs, but they were uh, ultimately just shit, and I did not feel that they were worthy enough of being uploaded to this fine, fine channel. But anyways, uh, without further ado, I have a story for you guys. But before I tell you uh, uh, the story, you know, I just remembered, I'm going to be uh, trying to add some comedy stuff to this channel, make it a little more interesting. Because as it stands, I'm going to run out of ideas for story time, because story time just ain't that. It, it, it It's milked, you know, you can't milk it that much. Um, but anyways, uh, without further ado, we're going to be talking about the first time I ever tried psilocybin mushrooms. But anyways, so the first time I ever tried psilocybin mushrooms, it was a couple years back. I was hanging out with this friend, called me up, asked me if I wanted to get drunk. And, I, and it was a Friday, and I was just playing video games. So I was like, you know what? Sure, let's do it. So I go over to his house, and we don't have any booze there, right? So we're going to end up going and picking some up. Turns out his friend calls him up and asks him if he wants to buy shrooms, right? So my friend's a little hesitant at first because he's not really into that kind of stuff. He's more of a party drug kind of guy. But I'm like, hey, you know, I've never done shrooms, you know, I'd, I'd like to try that, right? So, uh, you know, we end up getting four grams of shrooms. And I'd heard that one gram is the perfect dose, right? So we both take one gram. And he, he, he'd done shrooms before, right? So he's he's not he's not new to it or anything. He, he knows, and he's like, yeah, one gram's good. But anyways, so we both take one gram. It's cool and all. About 30 minutes go by, and we start feeling a bit of euphoria. And then after an hour goes by, then we start feeling these, these mild visuals coming on. Just, you know, the, the walls kind of warping and just almost feeling like they're just twisting like an optical illusion. It was really interesting. And since we live in the city and there's like a bunch of lights and, and stuff by the harbor, you know, we were looking out the window and the, and the lights were just like, I don't know, man, they were, they were really weird. It's like the colors were swirling and it was, I don't know, it's really psychedelic. Anyways, um, after about, you know, two hours, we decided it would be a good idea to go outside and go McDonald's to McDonald's and be fucking idiots. So, you know, we're bringing out, like, shitty, filthy Frank jokes, being fucking idiots at the McDonald's. Eventually, the police get called, right? So, uh, police get called, and I'm a pretty good runner, right? So, I decide, hey, I'm gonna run. So, I, I run down this back alley, and I'm fucking running. I'm probably running for a good, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Anyways, I make it to this little, like, stairwell that goes into the ground, probably led to, like, a parking lot or something, and I fucking run down this stairwell, and I'm hiding at the bottom of the stairwell, like, pretty much, pretty well laying down. So I'm waiting down there for the cops to go, because they have their fucking sirens on, and they're, they're, they're chasing us, right? So I probably wait down there for 30 minutes, and I'm just fucking debating, like, fucking philosophical questions over and over in my head. And it was, it was really stupid, but, you know, it was crazy how I could just sit there, and it was, like, cold and wet and damp, and I was just sitting there, and I was happy as a clown. Anyways, after 30 minutes had passed, you know, I kind of got up and came to my senses. I was still tripping. I called my friend, and I was like, yo, dude, you okay? You know, cops didn't get him, which was cool. We went back to my house, and, uh, to be honest, that's the end of the story. We went back to my house, and we didn't really do much. We went to bed after a little while, and, you know, we just kind of hung out at my place. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Keep you in the loop. Uh, you know, I'm going to be trying to do that upload a day thing I talked about a couple months back. But uh, until then, I'll see you all later.